What's going down everybody? It's Unbeatable Jacob. I don't know, I really didn't feel like this video was gonna be a thing earlier today because for one, these dribble videos are kind of dying off as, you know, everyone kind of has learned everything. And two, I didn't really think that many people would lock in for Wilt, but looking through my timeline on Twitter, it seemed like damn near everyone did. So there's a couple things I just want to explain about this Wilt with his SIGs, what you can do with them and that type of stuff with the hand cam. So, you know, I know a lot of people have been saying these videos have been helping him. Figured, you know, if you locked in Wilt, can maybe show you a thing or two you might not know that he can do. So the first one is the Asta slide. Talked about this a lot on Twitter. He's one of the very few players on this game that can get the actual Asta slide animation. And it looks just like this. So if you're coming down the court, you can just see how that's a great change of pace move. It's a great move to crab people with. It's a great move. The normal, the normal step back is what you need for the SIG to be able to do the actual Asta slide, which is this right here. Um, and not that many cars have it. It's like Jonathan Isaac and a few others. And in order to do it, it's just like the same way you would do a snatch back. You just let go of everything and flick down on the right stick and they get that animation. There's a lot you can do out of it as well. Of course, just bursting out of it on the break is great. Like if you're just running down the court and do this, a lot of times you'll get an easy blow by, or you can use it to crab somebody if you're just coming down here. Whoops, I missed it. I missed it again, oh no, hold on. If you're just coming down here, do it and then shoot out of it, especially with that really hard to contest base gonna be money next thing is the tray fade i actually didn't really know how to do this i mean i've heard so many people say that they do it oh they gave him the jordan too okay that's another thing i didn't even know that too yeah if you're just holding the ball and you flick down on the right stick you get that animation which is kind of cool and if you time if you time yourself running out of it perfectly right you can get this really weird speed boost animation but forget it i mean i guess impromptu he does have the normal five i didn't know they were giving this to the end game cars or is it normal four? I don't know. It's one of the triple threat packages. It's cool to do it off the catch though, especially with his, with his uh, jump shot animation. If you just catch it in the corner and you want to, hey, and shoot it in their mitt, that can be pretty troll. But anyways, like I was saying, the tray fade, um, I didn't really know how to do it because if you didn't play park this year, really, why would you? They haven't gave it to any other cards. But you know, normal for a normal fader, you hold down turbo and just shoot it like that. And that's fine to do with this tray fade. Totally okay. But if you let go of turbo, you get this slow fade animation. And this is what dudes are talking about when they say the tray fade. I can definitely see why it's so nice in park and everything. It just feels really weird to be shooting them with like a 7-1. Um, so yeah, it's the same as a normal normal leaner, except you just don't hold down turbo. And I, I mean, if you really don't know how to shoot leaners at this point, I have a whole video on how to do that too. So yeah, <clears throat> you just run in a direction, but with then tray fade you let go of turbo and just shoot the fader it's definitely nice the next thing is the basic spin now i definitely don't know how to do this stuff very well like i know how to do that and that's really about it with the basic spin there's a way to do that animation when you're like going towards the hoop and like spin out of it and shoot a three or whatever um i, I can't do it very well but yeah that's something i really don't want to get into because i don't do this shit um i don't know anyone in my team who does that's not even the right animation outside of like a couple people this is like more of a park thing i don't know i can't even get the animation again so yeah he does have the basic spin if that's uh you know something that you know how to do or if you want to know how to do it go look at like a steezo video or something because i just never really learned how to use that properly um and of course he has the step escape i mean i have the full dribbling guide video out if you guys still don't know how to do size up escapes, I mean, this is what the Steph escape looks like. It's really good for crabby people, for sure. It doesn't really quite get you. That's nice of a burst animation, maybe, as Trey. And then, of course, I mean, the Curry escape is pretty obvious at this point, right? Um, with the quick dribble style, you can burst out of it, quick stop out of it, you know, whatever. Whatever you want to do, you can do with the Curry escape. So that's something. And his uh, misdirection behind the back is really nice to combo up with the curry escape like you can kind of see that right there like that just almost looks intimidating honestly a misdirection into a curry escape with this with this seven one demi it just almost looks it like it looks intimidating honestly <laughs> even though you know i don't really know how well it'll work for you and then of course he has the derrick rose size up the derrick rose size up can be broken down very quickly it's the fastest change of direction size up in the game 
but just don't do it behind your back because that behind the back gives you like a big load up you can see it right there um i mean i guess it might be okay to do that in like a calculated situation but if you're just trying to get the blow by just do it in front of your body don't even think about going onto your legs or behind your back just do it right in front of your body and then outside of that, I mean, everything else I've already kind of covered in all my other dribble tutorial videos are, you know, all good with Wilt. Nothing, nothing wrong with the card SIGs wise. And that's crazy because I think he might be the first card that really just got it all. I mean, of course, he doesn't have like the tray escape or whatever, which I guess most people would prefer. But he's like the first card that has like the Asta, the tray fade, the Derek Rose size up and then the Curry escape still good, too. So. And of course quick dribble style so yeah there's a lot you can do with this card as far as dribbling goes i'd recommend you know if you're pretty well like decent you know and already kind of know all the main stuff the two takeaways from this video is just going to be making sure that you use the asta slide a bit with him because it's definitely nice this move right here and then also just making sure you know how to shoot the tray fade without holding turbo and that's pretty much really it the basic spin i guess if like I can't even do it now like if if that's something you want to get into like that's like there's like a whole community around the the basic spin and i can't even do it like right at all i did it right a couple times so uh there it is and you can learn how to do that in way better situations than just dribbling the ball up court like i'm doing right now but uh yeah that's just not me i can't really help you on that one you're gonna have to go find a steezo video for that but anyways appreciate you guys be back soon